Okay, so this is going to be a quick guide on how to set up your MIDI keyboard, well, your Rock Band MIDI keyboard, to set up with your computer. It's actually very simple. In this case, it'll be a MacBook 13 inch with a GarageBand 11, so that's the newest GarageBand. And um, that's really all you need is a thing, and you need one of these, which is a MIDI to USB cable, which uh, connects from the input into the USB to your computer. It's very simple. This one actually cost me five pounds on eBay. And so that's about, I don't know, 10 bucks American. And it's very easy to get, it's very simple setup. And the this is actually a super cheap one. The ones I saw on Amazon, the popular one, was actually about 20 pounds, so about 30 bucks, maybe even something more. But um, yeah, this was five pounds, very much worth it. And it's just plug it in, plug it in. You build up I, uh, garage band, sorry, and you're ready to go. Um, there's not really much to it, it's like it works just fine, so you got. Two octaves, works just fine. To change your octaves, unlike the game itself, you don't use the slider pad, that's for a different thing. You actually use the face buttons, the X and the B precisely. So, you will see. Uh, two C's lower. Two C's higher, so just tapping the X and the B button to go up and down octaves. Very simple. Uh, for the slider pad, it's actually been used as a pitch bender or an effect. Effect slider, so you can uh, judge how much effect you want. Which in this case, for some, I don't know how to change it, but it's vibrato at the moment. So, playing the note here, just a C, straight flat note. I use the slider and just slide it all the way to the bottom. And sure it's got the wobble now, so funny effect. And it is an uh, infinite adjust, so you can choose how much you have. You can do it in real time. So if I do this, the pinky, you can see it alternating. So that's pretty cool. Now, um, the other thing that you can also do with this keyboard right now is the the D-pad. If you push up on the D-pad, it does something really weird. It turns on it turns on this light and this light. Normally, it's just the one light, so it's just like this. So you push this one, it goes up. Now, these ones... I have no idea what it's done and why it's playing these specific keys, but maybe someone in the comments can tell me. Because normally it's just a C major scale. As opposed to normally to be there you go. So that's a little weird. The normal keys up here stayed the same, so that sounds fine. Uh, no idea what this does yet. I'm still trying to figure it out. So if you can tell me, just put it in the comments and I'll read up to it. And maybe, I don't know, do an additional post or something to illustrate the rest of it. I probably not having fun much else. Uh, the Y and the A buttons will make the lights go all blinky and funny, but um, I actually don't know if it has any effect on anything. And the overdrive button doesn't do anything either. But yeah, there we go. It's a very simple setup. you got a ton of effects in GarageBand or whatever you're using. And it's great fun, so have a go. Uh, just another thing, uh, for the for this one, if you're wondering, this is an M-Box. It's really got no purpose here except for uh, so that I can route the sound from my MacBook onto there and into my amp so that you can hear it slightly better. Okay, but with that, <coughs> that's everything you need to know, really. Um, have fun, enjoy, and I guess you'll see some videos more, probably. Bye!